the executive summit and lost such out problems, analysis of kinematic analysis of rigid frame. Kinematic analysis of rigid frame. Of course, determinate rigid plane frames, not indeterminate rigid plane frames. Those are the limitations. And we have seen the kinematic analysis of trusses and beams. Now we will take up the frames. The first problem is this find vertical reflection. Reflection at free end of the frame shown in figure by, of course, we will do by both the methods by Cascade Reynolds. Kira and unit load method and by unit load method. So this is a frame. It's a cantilever type of frame ABC loaded with a UDL of 20. Of course, span is not given there. We can take that span as 4 meters. Here is constant. So, this is the problem. This is what the problem. That will determine the vertical reflection, white C. So, as we said, First thing, step. So we know delta C is equal to that the particular deflection is given by sigma of, because it is basically a flexural member, we have to use flexural equation. Mx, Mx, ah, not Mx, Mx, Mx. Delta Mx by delta Q I delta Q into dx divided by dl. Come just play on second theorem. This is what we have. Where Q is the dummy load. Q is uh, load applied in at Point C, where deflection is applied, where deflection is to be found out, to be found out during analysis. Then, of course, the Mx is nothing but bending moment at any section. That's all, at any section. So how to take section means wherever the change in the loading along the member, you can take different sections. So here this is the frame. So we have to apply the load Q at the part where the friction is required. If there is a load, that load you replace it as Q. And if there is no load, you apply load Q and put that value of load as zero. That's the usual procedure. So this is 20 kilometer per meter A, B, C. The reaction, you can find out here, the reaction is 20 into 4 meter, that is equal to 80 kilonewton. And here applied 80 plus Q cube. That's the Reaction, vertical reaction, 
and moment is due to flow it is slow flow due to 20 it is 20 into 4 and 2 it is 20 80 into 2 160 so this is in clockwise direction here the moment is anti clockwise that is 1 160 plus 160 plus 160 this is the reaction and there no horizontal load no horizontal reaction at fixed time so how many such chains you need You need a section here. X1 and Cn in the member PC, and whatever moment we take at X1, it is same for x equals zero here. At C, take x equals b, the same moment. So in this member, one section is enough. Then you take another section at a distance here. You measure it from C. Here on a B member. You take another section X2. You can take distance either from A or B. We take from A itself because we have determined the reaction. So at a distance X from A. Whatever moment at this section X2, it holds good from X equals zero to X equals four. So that A B is covered. So A B and B C both members are covered with these sections. So the entire we can add that. Two member cells will get the difference of. So we can prepare the table. So member or segment or segment. So here C B segment because same. Moment equation holds good. Another A B segment. Two segments are in it. That is two member. Or in a given member, we may require two sections also. If one more of this given is there, then you have to take two sections. That's all. So then origin for measuring the distance for C B, you take C as the origin. For A B member, let us take A as the origin. And integration limits limits for c x equals zero to x equals four. Here also it is x equals zero to x equals four. Then you find out the max bending moment at the section. Here it is very simple. Q into x minus twenty into x into x by two. That is ten x by two. So that is. It both are arming moment, so it is negative. So it is minus q x minus ten x square, right? Yes. Ten x square minus q. So that's the moment equation. Then find delta m x by delta q. Then partially we have to differentiate. Delta q. Treating all other things comes. Delta m x by delta q. Delta q. Yes. So here. This is zero. Here it is minus x with respect to q. That's all. With respect to q only. Yes. That's what I have written. Then for a b it is a t plus q zero. will not give any moment. Only this it is again hogging. It is minus of four q plus one sixty. That's all. There is no x involved. It is just minus of four q. Plus one sixty. So if you differentiate that partially with respect to q, you will get only minus four, and this is zero. Zero. So this will be minus four. So and here you will use for both these segments. It is same thing. Here it is constant. If they give this as two here, this as two here, you take that as two here. In here, that's all. You change. Even here also can be. Very easy. Many problems. Yeah. So therefore, you call this as one. So from one, you substitute all these values which is required. So for these two segments, I will add it. So here it is first one over e i. Okay. One over 
i into integral 0 to 4. 4 mx theta mx by theta q. So this into this. So all are minus so the q x square. Plus. So this is q x square. Or first I will take this 10x q plus plus q x q square dx divided by here. Here I have already I have taken outside. Then plus this second segment again 0 to 4 this into this this again minus minus plus so this will be 16 16 q, q plus 6 for d s into d s now straight away you can substitute value of q before integration or after integration also you can substitute. I prefer to substitute Q value now itself so that integration things will become simpler. Right? You can follow. Even in the previous examples also could have done the same thing. So that is 1 over EI. So put here. Here Q is equal to 0. zero because there is no actual Q value. But Q have taken to facilitate our integration process or applying that test to our second theorem and that time q value is required <coughs> only for the derivative that is where then once that particular thing you have determined and arrived at the multiplication you can straight away eliminate that q you can take that either actual value if it is there to substitute or if it is value is not there put it zero so that integration things will become simpler Q equals 0 means this term will go, this term will straight away go, so you will get 1 over EI or uh, that is, uh, here you will get just 10x cube into dx, 0 to 4 of 10x cube dx plus, because this will be 0, and next here, this will go, only it is 640 dx, that's all. See things are becoming very simpler that you can do it. That's all. Otherwise, that integration thing will go wrong and we will get confusion. That we found out in the two examples, both non-prismatic beam and truss. We found out that in this there was some mistake existing when we uh, that we found out when we did the same problem by unit load method. Right? So that you can avoid. Why the problem was getting there? There won't be any confusion. So this will be 1 over EI into 10x4. This is 10x4 by 4. x4 by 4 and 4 is the, I have to substitute upper limit. 4, 4 to the power of 4 by 4 or 4 to 4 to means it is 64 into 10. It is 640. Here it is 640 into x. x is 4. 640 into 4. Plus that is 2560. 2560. If you add this, 3200. divided by a. But here. So delta c. c is equal to 3200. 3200 divided, divided by, by ei. Yes, sir. This is what Now we will add our second method, unit load method. This is A. What will we do? A. By just to not say that. Now we will do it. B. Unit load method. Same procedure as you you need not have any doubt in the mind. It is just you have to remember the formula, prepare this table, so you do that integration work perfectly. Absolutely, there is nothing. All you know that. So let us take up my unit load method. So in the unit load method, we know that delta C is given by 
sigma of integral mx small mx dx divided by dr. This said is that similar I told mx value will not change instead of delta we expected that you are getting mx that you can compare if you get the same solution then you will be absolutely sure about your solutions. Uh, here of course same explanation where small mx is equal to moment at any section at any section due to unit load applied at C where the section is required is to be found out or simple. Here you are applying the load to here you are applying the Next. unit load and due to that moment you are finding. Here of course we are finding the moment but first we are applying the load. Then we have applied unit load is up to and take the moment. And of course the MX is the moment at any section. That is the same explanation. Then you can prepare, of course you can take that particular problem. So this is the problem A, B, C. This is the given load. As you shall, you need only two sections for finding the moment. There are also another section and the moment. And here the action will be 20 into 4. Eight. That is kg moment. The purpose of the moment is 20 into 4 into 2. That is 160. 160. That is the reaction set A and this is the given problem with the loading and that has also the unit load in the direction where the section is required like that and you have to take again two sections, same sections x1, x2, this can also you have to measure like that only and here reaction will be one, one. and here moment will be applied moment is clockwise resistance will be anti clockwise that is one into four okay. for the moment so so then you prepare a table for evaluating of the same segment or member there are only two segments like this. One is CB, another AB, or it is here it is C, here it is J, and limits integration, limits here 0 to 4, 0 to then you find out the max, the max for this figure. It is 20 dx by 2. 20 that is uh, 10x. Causing negative 10x square. minus 10x square. Here, this 80 will not give any moment, only 160. 160. It is minus 160 because that's also hogging. That you have to be careful. Hogging or sagging. Sagging is always positive. Hogging on either side. Like this. Hogging negative. Either left or right. Sagging positive. This is the size convention. We are following for MX here. Here, this is hogging. Yes, sir. Outside. Not in this way. Then the MX, you can take this figure, it is again like this hogging outside. So it is minus 1 into x. Here it is minus 4. And so again 1 will not be here. So here value, again, is 